Hey there everyone, this is CrazyMan32 here. Today I'm going to be uh, going over a little explanation of my uh, data store editor plugin. So to get the plugin, um, you can just go in studio, go to manage plugins, click on find plugins, and then you should be able to type in data store editor. And there's mine. So click on it, click install. For me, I already have it installed. Um, then restart studio and go to a game, and then it should pop up. It's this little icon here. Uh, you click it to turn it on, and this is the editor. So uh, just to go to uh, have a really quick explanation of this, you have the, the place ID, data store name, data store scope, and key. So the place ID is the ID of your place. So for this example, I'm going to be using my game Angels 15. So in Chrome here, we see that at the end of the URL, we have this ID code. You can just copy that and for your game and then paste it into there. You just click Control V to paste it, or you can type it by itself. And then the data store name and scope um, Determ it determines what data store is used. So in the data store, uh, the data store, uh, get data store method rather, uh, we have two arguments passed to it. We have a, a name and a scope. The scope is optional, and if it's left out, it defaults to the word global, but the name is required. Um, so for this example, uh, both my name and my scope are server. And the key is whatever value you're using, whatever key value you're using. Um, so for this example, I'm going to use uh, notification. And then it loads it, and we see some information. So this is an actual uh, data set used in the game to show notifications to the players in the game. Um, and on the right here, we have value information. So we see that it's a string and it took about half a second uh, to query this information. Um, this is an early version. As you can see, the text kind of cuts off the edit button here. That's unintentional. Um, but if we want to edit this value, all we have to do is click edit. And then we have a little editor here um, where we can actually edit the text, um, which is really cool. And we can also view the information. We can also change it to a number, a Boolean, or even a table, um, which I'll go to into detail in a second. Um, so by default, you actually can only see and read this information. You cannot edit and save it by default. In order to be able to save the data to your data store, you actually have to go to your game, so for example, Angels 15, and you click on configure this game, not place, but game. So configure this game, and then uh, under basic settings, you'll have this little setting here, enable studio access to API services. Make sure that's checked and click save. Um, and then you'll be able to actually edit and save your data tables from the studio plugin here. Um, so for me, it's already enabled. So anything I change here is actually going to change the actual data here in this key on the production data tables. Um, I'm not going to edit this though. So for example, Let's say I want to create a new key called test. Um, so it, you can see it's nil, so it doesn't exist yet. So let's edit it. Um, let's say we want it to be a string. So let's say hello world. And then all I have to do is click save. And then as soon as it updates the actual table, it will update onto uh, your screen. So we see it shows hello world, and then it's a string. So we can edit it again, and let's say we want it to be a number, so we can make it like 32. Um, this uses the two number function, so you can do scientific, no fit, notific, no, scientific notation, rather, that's the word I'm looking for, scientific notation if you want, um, which is just some number e plus 000, or whatever, or you could just do the e, whatever. Anything works as long as it can do two number. Uh, if you put an invalid input, it will default to the last number you put in. 
So let's save it as 32, save, good. Uh, you can also make a Boolean, which is a true or false value. So it just simplifies it and gives you an option. Uh, save it, true, save it, false. Sometimes it takes a minute. Okay, there we go. Um, and then last but not least is the table value. Now this is probably the most fun part of the plugin because it gives you a whole table editor um, to play around with. So we can create a key in the table. So let's call this, um, usually a key is a number, but for this say, let's say this is player data. So we can say number of visits and let's see, this should be a number. So we can see visits is zero, and then we click on that key and we can edit the value to like 54 or something. Um, so that's done. Now we can add another value. Let's call it uh, is awesome. So is this player awesome or not? A Boolean, because we want to be true or false. It defaults to false, we can change it to true. Um, now let's create a string value. So let's call it message, create it and edit it. So I don't know, blah, save it, will show up. And then you can also create deep tables, so we can create another table. And then it's just gonna create a hierarchy of tables here, so we can actually create another table. And then it will show that table, and we can add a value within here And we can edit that number, save it. Um, and then we can also delete things. So I could delete this and get rid of it. I could delete this table, get rid of it. Um, an example of actual data, I will go under my player's data actually um, in angels 15. So this is ac my actual player data in angels 15 for my player. So I, I can actually view the data table um, that's saved for my player, which is pretty cool. So this is an example of actual data that I have in the game, and I can just go through and view the table information. And I could do this for any player in my game. So this plugin is really useful if you wanna go through and edit player's values for data they have saved, or just view it, um, get confirmation on that sort of stuff. Um, just really helpful for that. So hopefully this helps uh, you guys understand what the plugin does. Um, I'm gonna stop it here. Um, yeah, adios.